let's swipe. So you touch it gently. That's really pretty. I just, I love this kind of lacing and cells. Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm doing a swipe today, a cell activator swipe, but not technically a bloom swipe because I'm not using the bloom pouring mixture. Uh, if you don't know what I mean by the bloom pouring medium, just ignore this. It's a particular pouring medium for the bloom technique. This one is going to use the same cell activator, but the actual mixture for the paint is more typical of what you'd use for a regular acrylic pour. So this is a Molly's Artistry style swipe. This is her pouring medium recipe, and I will link the video down in my description where I got it. So her recipe for her pouring medium, it's basically two parts Floetrol, US Floetrol, to one part uh, gloss, medium, and varnish. And she uses the Creative Inspirations brand, which you can get at Jerry's Artorama. So I just got a little bottle because I wanted to try it out. I've done cell activator swipes using just paints mixed with Floetrol, and it's worked well. But I've always wondered, how would it be if I added some of the gloss medium? So you can buy it in small bottles or you can buy it in big jugs like this. I, I haven't gotten a big jug yet. This is paint. Um, but you can buy that if you're wanting to get it in bulk. So she also, in her video, she says that she uses GAC 800. I think that's the number. I've, I've never used that product. I know a lot of people use it to reduce cracking and crazing. I've never really needed it in order to keep crazing out of my pores. So I didn't put that in. Plus, it's been a while since I've watched one of these swipes that she does. I really should have brushed up on it before doing this today. But I think I remember enough. And I vaguely remember her saying that she doesn't use the GAC 800 anymore. She just uses the Floetrol and the varnish. Regardless, that's what I'm doing, <laughs> and if it's terrible, maybe I need the GAC 800. I don't know. So my my pillow, I would call this a pillow if it was the Bloom recipe. My base coat is white. It's Creative Inspirations white mixed with a pouring medium, and you see how thick this is? Yeah, it's quite thick. It's more or less, the way I've mixed these is more or less one part paint to probably about two parts of the medium. I didn't pay really careful attention to my uh, ratios because I just, I wanted to start with paint and then thin it with the medium as much as I could. With my paints, I did end up, well, and with this one too, I guess, I did end up adding water to it because they were just too thick and I thought I need these paints to be able to move and stretch around. So they're still quite thick but they're not as thick as the base coat is. So it flows, but it's, it's a thick flow. Um, and then I have my cell activator, which is one part Amsterdam titanium white to three parts Australian Floetrol. And if you don't have Australian Floetrol, check the video description. There will be a link of a much less expensive way of doing cell activators. My colors over here, I have Viridian, which if you've been watching my channel, you know I've been doing several blooms using more or less this color palette. I've really been drawn to this kind of green, gold, copper palette. So I have Viridian. Then I have a metallic, uh, green and blue. So these are quite dark metallics. I have a metallic gold and a metallic bronze, I think is that one, not copper. I always get the two confused. And then I have Payne's gray, which looks the same as my metallic blue, but it's going to dry much more like black. So that's going to be kind of my dark contrast color. Uh, and I'm going to be swiping with, I have several palette knives here. I don't know which one I'm going to be using. But this should be fun. Let's make a painting. I'm going to start by putting some of this base all across the canvas. Actually, I'm not. 
I'm like rethinking this as I do it. I want to start with a pretty, wow, this is so thick. This is probably thicker than it should be. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'm going to start with a, a very thick puddle here and do all my swiping and then tilt it to stretch it. Uh, so I'm not going to, not going to cover everything yet. Yeah, cool. That's a nice, but you see how it, like, it still moves. So I should be able to stretch it just fine. It's got a lot of air bubbles because I just mixed it today. Let's see. Well, we'll let those kind of rise to the surface. So I'm not going to do a bloom, like a center blown out bloom. And when Molly does her swipes, often she does like one main one with kind of like tendrils coming out the side. When I did my big like north, south, east, west painting, which if you haven't seen it, you really should. And that link is in the video description too. Uh, for the south portion, I did swiped, cell activator swiped uh, like lines of these southwest colors. And it was so pretty. They just kind of like... It, w it was these wavy kind of crisscrossing lines and I love that. So I think that's more what I'm going to do here. So I want to figure out kind of where, what kind of lines I want. Do I want lines all over the place or do I want kind of a central pattern? I think we're going to go with like three three kind of main stripes through. And then as I tilt it, those will probably get stretched and kind of go zigzaggy. Um, yeah. So the more I think about it, this is not, this is not totally a Molly style swipe because she usually stacks up her colors the other direction so that you swipe one across the other. Um, and I've done that. I've done that style and it's great. However, with these particular kind of lines, I do like having the color go all throughout instead of having it be kind of one to the next to the next. So I'm choosing to... to do it a little bit differently than she does, but I am using her recipe. Let's do a bit of Payne's Gray. I don't want lots of Payne's Gray, just enough to add some contrast. And same with the metallic dark blue. This is a beautiful color, but I don't know that I want like the whole thing to be blue. I'd rather have it be more green than blue. And then we'll top it all off with a little bit more Viridian and some gold. All right, well, this does not look like much right now. This looks pretty random. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe down, up, down. But I wonder if I should do the middle one first, swiping up and then do the two on the side. Let me do that. So I have my cell activator and I think I'm actually going to go with, with this. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do this one the sort of spin swipe palette knife, but I might, I might not do it flat like this. I might sort of taper it so that it's smaller. Anyway, you pour a little bit of the cell activator onto the back or just put it on with your popsicle stick. You don't want a huge layer but there has to be enough that it's actually going to, you know, pull across and make it all the way down. Okay. Yeah. 
let's swipe. So you touch it gently and then just nice and slow, you pull that over the top. There we go. That's really pretty. I just, I love this kind of lacing in cells. All right, uh, yeah, with the next one, I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna go up and then we'll see if we need to add any small kind of wispy details crossing over. I, I don't know if we will. Okay. I tried to slide everything kind of this way and I ended up picking up, I think, a lot of the white from the background and pulling that in, but that's all right. Beautiful colors. I do love sort of the lines that I get from layering up my paints this way. Okay, last one. Okay, so that one, again, I tried to add more movement to, to the swipe, and, and I think I really like that. I can't tell, oh, I think it's the metallic blue. I couldn't tell if it was the metallic blue or the Payne's gray, but I've got this nice dark kind of bluish stripe in there. So that's awesome. All right, so that's, that's it for my main swipes. Now I'm gonna take my little guy and uh, this one, I think I'll just, mm, no, I don't like that. If you have a color that's just on the surface, you can sometimes just like touch your finger on the top and pull it right out of there. So, this isn't just on the top, but I was able to get a lot of it up. Um, for this section right here, I'm gonna, even though I think that's gonna go off the side, I'm just gonna put a little bit of cell activator right here on my little palette knife and swipe it down this direction. That was an interesting little... Because I went in two different directions, when I went this way, the cell activator was on top, and when I went this way, it was not on top. So I'm only going to have lacing on sort of one half of it, which is kind of neat. I have such nice clean edges along here that I kind of hate to add in additional wisps just randomly. So I think I'm going to spread this out. I'm going to tilt it. So let me put some paint here on the corners to help it spread there better. Get those corners all the way covered. And if they're already covered before you start tilting, then you don't have to lose so much of your design sending it all the way over the edge. Great. Okay, I can't wait to see how this stretches out because these look quite small right now. And there's actually a lot of negative space in between them. I think as I tilt it, this middle one is going to get much bigger. And the other ones, you, we might mostly lose them. I don't know. But this middle one is really pretty, so that'll be okay, whatever happens. Okay. Get everything moving a bit. Um, let's go... It's always hard to know which which piece to do first. Let's send this one over. Okay, great. 
Don't want to lose all of that piece. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's take it to this corner now. Awesome. All right. I might not lose all of that little copper. Swipe after all. No, it is pretty much off of there. <laughs> It'll just be on the side there. <laughs> That's funny. Unless I tilt more of it off. All right, last corner. Cool. Okay, so that's really pretty. Everything's covered. I just wonder, I feel like I have too much paint on here. Um, and I think I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it around. And send some of this paint off of here. Even though all of the swipes were really pretty, I think I can't, I can't keep everything. It's getting really slippery and I have to think. And when I think I like to be able to gesture and point and like talk about what I'm thinking. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of paint. It's still moving really well. The design is stretching really well. If I try to keep all three of these, I'm going to end up, you know, with this giant section of white here. And I'm wondering if I should try to stretch all of this down this way and pretty much lose this entire swipe. Both of these are so pretty to pretty much just have these two. So it'll be kind of negative space, big swipe, negative space, other swipe, little white corner. I think I like that idea. And I think that's going to make it fill the canvas and have it be as much color as possible. So let me move it this way. My goodness. There's, there's so much paint dripped on the bottom of this. It's kind of hard to hold on to. Let's, let's give that a try. So the key here will be getting it to move without making all of my cells lose their shape. And the way I'm going to try to do that is by not just stretching in one direction, but taking it one way and then another way. And we're going to get it all the way until this corner goes off. Great. Okay, see how we're like starting to lose that? And now I'm going to pull it back. Yeah, I like it much better all stretched out. I like how this is kind of just touching the edge. Yeah, I really like that. Um, let me clean my hands a little bit and then I'll come and see if I need to do anything else. All right, well, this is pretty cool. Um, certainly I wish I had put my lines closer together so that I didn't have to have this, these giant pockets of negative space, but it is really pretty and I think it's much more proportional with two big sections of color and then just kind of some white around it. So I love it. This uh, pouring medium worked really, really well. It was nice and like thick and you know, obviously all of the cells held up really well, but it still was able to flow quite nicely, which is really important. So let me give you a close up. Okay, here it is. I'm not sure exactly which way is going to be up. I think I like this orientation, but I'll play with it a little bit more once it's dry. So let's look at these luscious cells and lacing that we got. So because I put the paint out in layers, that's why we get these 
kind of the striping throughout, which I really like. You don't get the multicolored cells in the same way as when you stack them the other direction, but I really like kind of the rivers of color that you get here. And then here we have a lot more of the copper. And then I see something bluish through there. Once it dries, I'll be able to tell whether that is the Payne's gray or the, the pearlized dark blue, but really, really pretty. So this, I think that was where I touched my finger in there to try to get up some of that little stripe. Maybe not. Maybe that was just part of a swipe. I don't know. But I love it. It's going beautifully over the sides. I think it is gorgeous. So I will show you how this looks when it is dry. Okay, it is all done and boy, it dried perfectly. Look at that. Absolutely no cracking or pitting. So I'm glad that I stretched off the extra paint. Otherwise we might've had too much paint on here. But look how metallic that is. I just love seeing those rivers of gold and bronze and the metallic blue. It was that and not the Payne's Gray. I think the Payne's Gray is underneath here. So you don't see it ever as its own color, but it's kind of underneath the Viridian, which is nice, adds some depth. Just gorgeous lacing up through there. All the way up to the top, perfect. And then on this side too. Nice metallic blue and copper and gold through there. It's just really, really beautiful. And then even here where the cell activator made lacing just on the white background is kind of cool too. There's a little pocket of that here. So I really enjoyed working with this pouring medium from Molly's Artistry. So thank you, Molly, for the inspiration. I'll definitely be using it again. So I don't know what kind of designs I'll do, whether I'll try like a full bloom with it or just more of these swipes, but I am excited to try more. So thanks everybody for joining me for this acrylic pouring tutorial. I hope it inspired you to try something new. Let me know down in the comments, have you ever done a cell activator swipe like this and have you used Molly's pouring medium? I can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Bye guys.